Today I want to show you a new feature that we can add to our scan gauge to the X gauge part of it because we've always been able to monitor the ICP pressure but we've never been able to monitor the ICP voltage. So I contacted the guys down there and they have a great customer service and I explained to them that we really need to see the ICP voltage sometimes and the reason is is the ICP or injection control pressure if it ever loses a signal whether it be from a bad sensor or bad wire something's going on there it'll it'll give you a false thing it'll go it'll substitute ICP desired or a pre-programmed pressure um, that it wants to have and so what you're looking at could be false but it'll never give you ICP voltage it'll never fake that so if we look at ICP voltage key on engine off and we see it roughly about a quarter of a volt then we know pretty much from there that everything's accurate sometimes we'll see ICP voltage reading you know real high like half a volt or more and we know that we have a problem then with the sensor or a signal but before we didn't have a way to monitor but now we do so what I want to do is show you how to go ahead and program that into your scan gauge too so we can start looking at ICP voltage because it's pretty important when you have drivability issues um, such as no starts lack of power major lack of power no start hot sometimes or starting weird no throttle response it's a good thing to look at ICP voltage key on engine off so here I'll show you uh, the best way I know how to program it real quick so here we have the scan gauge and whenever you have it um, you, and you, you got everything going on and you get confused just hit the home button here it's kind of like the center button on an iPhone or whatever it'll get you back to the start so what I do here is we hit we're gonna hit more twice so I'm gonna go more more and now the mode the mode I want to put in is the extra gauges so I'm gonna hit go here this way now I'm in the X gauge I'm gonna to go to edit so now I'm gonna edit I find an empty slot number one has an empty slot there's nothing in there so I'm gonna edit that so now here I have number one edit and now is where we start to enter our code that's up here so we can start looking at IC P voltage or injection control pressure voltage okay so there I have my cursor now now I'm going to go up on it I have zero I'm going to go to the right and I'm going to go up until I hit seven now I have seven I'm gonna go this one, I'm gonna go down remember because of the alphabet I want to go down so I start with F then E and it's hard to tell but make sure or at least if you know that it's F first then E then it's a lot better so I got zero seven E the next one zero next one two and then two again I'm just hitting to the right there one over again and go up till I get to six and then go here I'll go down go down the alphabet till I get to apple or a and the next one go down until I get to D so there I have that I have my TXD code all put in there we can see it matches so I hit OK and it automatically goes to the next one my RXF so the same thing I've got the zero I go over one we're gonna go up four keep on going six two four five and we have one six zero I like zeros six and down again to a David so I have all those in hit OK now I've got an easy one again three zero zero and go to the next one and go up until I hit eight now I have eight in there hit OK and here we have the last one so I've got zero zero then six go over four then we got zero zero then three three then the rest are zeros so I just hit OK and now it's time to put the name in in the same way with the alphabet we just go we already have ICP in it so I hit I C and then V for voltage so we keep on going up T U V so now we have ICP IC uh, the injection control pressure sensor voltage so we hit save 
exit and then now we can just go back again to home button so now we go to gauge and we look at it cycle the key here turn the key on and there we go we have a quarter of a volt roughly 0.23 of ICP volt ICP voltage and we're able to confirm it because remember again the only time you can tell your IC the injection control pressure voltage is key on engine off and that's where we should see roughly a quarter of a volt anywhere from 0.18 to maybe 0.28 is where we want to see it and, th and again that's important it varies too much to look at it going down the road under the throttle because it's going to change with the load type of fuel temperature and everything else so hopefully that helps you out watching IC the uh, injection control pressure sense of voltage and the importance of it if these videos help you Please like and subscribe. Thank you.